Hi and welcome to Auto Select. Let's begin the next video tutorial of creating a vector portrait on Inkscape. As we have completed the outlining part in the last video, in this video we will modify those even looking outlines and make it look narrower at the ends and broader in the middle. So to begin with let's select all the outlines except eyebrows and hair. To do that select all and holding the shift key I'm gonna deselect eyebrows and hair. And as you can see only outlines are selected which is in the other words are stroke lines without color fill. Now the outlines being selected let's go to path and click on stroke to path. This will convert the strokes to path. Now select edit nodes by path tool and select individual lines. Make the ends taper or sharper and bolder in the middle. Grabbing the individual nodes and maneuver them. This gives a much better look for the outlines with control and finesse. Continue doing these steps on every individual stroke and you will be pretty happy with the result. This technique increases and decreases the width of the lines by selecting and moving the nodes. It will be difficult if the number of nodes are too many like we have here on the teeth lines. Let's decrease the number of nodes by simplifying it. From the menu bar go to path and click on simplify. Simplify shortcut key is ctrl plus l. It decreases the number of nodes of a selected path. Well this process is not that tedious than it looks, it's a real fun and has taken me 15 minutes or so to finish it. I guess we are done with it now. Let's check if there is any missed spot or not. By clicking eye icon on layer 1 its visibility can be turned off. Let's check the outlines thoroughly with the image layers visibility turned off. Now let's make the iris of the eye, grab the circle tool and draw a round shaped circle, click ctrl or command to make a nice 
round circle and place it on the exact spot as in the image. Copy and duplicate it for the next eye and place it properly over the other eye. And there we are done with the outlines. Looks great right? Let's save it and jump right in for the next tutorial where we'll add colors in these outlines and make further modifications if necessary. See you then in the next tutorial.